Time to play with some play. Well, as you can see, I've been working on the blanket, and uh, got a lot more work to do, but I'm going to redo the uh, mane of the horse. Uh, I don't like it at all. Uh, the tail's okay. I might work on that a little bit, and, and I added another feather uh, because it's got to look good from every angle, and that feather uh, acts as a... Uh, cool uh, design. Anyway, uh, those I'm going to be doing in uh, wax, uh, and uh, that's going to be later on though. I uh, made it so that I can take her off, even though her hand is under the blanket. Oops. Even though the uh, hand is under the blanket I've made it so that I can take her away from this without losing any detail and you can see I just cut the hand right off there and now I'm going to slide it back in that makes it easier for them to cast the two figures separately now I don't know whether they will or won't It depends on uh, the mold maker at the uh, foundry, whether he separates it from the uh, horse and casts her separate, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I just go assume that that's what they're going to do. Uh, I'm going to lower this down a little bit because I need to work on him up here. I need to get his body to a point where I like it. I put the shield here and I've uh, added something to it. Uh, this is an armature for a uh, flintlock rifle that he's going to be carrying. He's a young warrior, so he hasn't uh, collected any war trophies. And uh, this is a hand-me-down. And in fact, it's going to be shorter than this. Because I've got photographs of an actual uh, rifle that was used by Indians that was uh, in a model shoot that I had with uh, Michael Terry, or um, Michael Badhand is his name. Anyway, uh, I'll uh, be doing that. I, I, it didn't make sense to put a bow and quiver on his back and have him carrying a shield. I mean, he can't use a shield while he's uh, using his bow and quiver. And the uh, so I'm gonna have to put a uh, pouch and powder horn on him, and I'll figure that all out <coughs> in the next couple of days. But right now, I'm just gonna work on his upper body, but I gotta lower the uh, sculpting stand so I can get him more eye level. take that away for now What I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on the rifle or the musket and uh, take a little more off 
they would take a full-size musket which would be uh, several feet long and cut it down because the ability to use it from horseback was uh, hen hindered by the length of the rifle so they would cut the barrel off and shorten the rifle uh, to make it more of a saddle type uh, weapon. Now, the musket I'm modeling this after is one that a uh, Michael Terry had, uh, Michael Badhand as he's known, had uh, in his collection of uh, weapons, <coughs> Native American weapons, and it was an actual um, musket that was used um, by uh, warriors and had been cut down and all that stuff and it was a flintlock now i'm not going to get into the uh, detail of the uh the lock or the uh, trigger guard or anything like that this is going to be covered in a, uh, a leather sheath and so it's uh not going to show the detail of the uh, musket and that's because their weapons were very valuable and they would put a leather sheath or cover on the weapon to protect it from the elements and it'll add to the uh, design of the uh, sculpture too what I'm doing is I'm making his loincloth right now.
Come on into the inner sanctum. How you doing, Dave? Pretty good, yourself? All right. I tilted the uh, clay backwards at uh, oh, probably 20, 10 degrees or so to uh, work on the, the face a little closer. I'm going to have to switch over to my magnifiers. I've got to quit in a little while. I just had a visitor by, and so it's uh, taken some of my time up. In fact, I'm not going to be able to finish this. Today. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.